Hello, 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 hello. Here we are again, Robin the Sudoku Guy, yet with another tutorial. This is tutorial number 31. And it's a couple more scenarios. Let's show you what we have for today. Here I have a part of a puzzle that I had done and I noticed it and I thought, well, I should share this with my players. This is, this is something similar to what we had in our last tutorial in that if you look at there, the first thing I look for is something like this. We have a 6 and a 7, and we have a 6 and a 7. And therefore, when you see that, you know that in here there's a 6 and a 7. You wouldn't have to put all these little numbers in. Let's say you didn't see the 6 and 7, and this 6 and 7. You therefore go outside the puzzle, work out over here, write them down, 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is what it was done originally in this puzzle, because this is only one section of a puzzle. And then you look at that, and the first thing I see when you put all those red numbers in, the little ones, is that we have here a 1, 5, 8, 3 by 3. Whoopee! First of all, that tells me that this one cell that's left in this block has to be a 2. Therefore, using TMB, these are possible twos. But more importantly, once you know that this is a 158 3x3, three three, any 158 along here can be removed. So let's remove the ones. Let's remove the fives. Let's remove the eights. And you're left with, guess what? A 6 7 matching pair. Now, if you'd have noticed the 6, 7 here and the 6, 7 there before you started, you would have saved all that trouble. Okay, now, that's just a bit of a scenario I thought you might be interested in, in, in looking at, seeing the power of the 1 by 3 by 3, and also looking for something like this. Now, we did that in our last tutorial, but there's nothing wrong with me repeating it because it's easy to forget some of these little tricks. Now, I'll be back in a second with one more scenario. Well, here we are again, part two of the tutorial number 31. Here again, it was a puzzle that I was doing and I was getting a way through it and then suddenly I thought, oh, this is worthwhile sharing. So here we go. The first thing I noticed when I looked at it, when I was doing this was that over on this block, there's a 4 that's only found there and there, which means the rule of exclusion, we can get rid of that 4. But I also notice there's a 4 here, so if there's a 4 on the right, there's a 4 on the left, there has to be a 4 in the middle here. So that means we can erase all these little numbers and put a 4 in. So... That was the first thing I noticed. But the next thing I noticed, which is very important, and it's a sort of reiteration of what I'm trying to say, here we have a 9-6, so you can't have a 9-6 in there. Uh, here we have a 9-6, so you can't have a 9-6 in there. The only place you can have a 9-6 is over here, and it becomes a matching pair. That's very valuable to know. Now, if that is a 6 up here and there's a 6 here, we know that there has to be a 6 in here somewhere. Uh, so, um, that makes sense too, because here's a 9, and then we found out that there was 9s over here, so 9, 9, 9, that also fits in. Now comes the interesting spot. When I looked at this block here, I thought, I'd worked out that that there was two, three, six, eight missing. Two, three, six, eight. Oh, did you notice here six nine? That means we can eradic get rid of that six because that's spoken for up there with the matching pair. So we have two, three, six, eight of left in here. So you know you, you may want to just sort of put it in your head or write it down in here somewhere. Two, three, six, eight. Now, this is interesting. When I looked at this cell here, we have a 2, we have a 6, and an 8. If that's the case, 
we have a 2, a 6 and an 8. That's the only place a 3 can go. So we can put, we can erase this 3 and put a 3 in there. Which means you can get rid of these 3 as over here. And so on. So I just thought I'd share that with you. If that 3 is there, we can get rid of this 3. You can get rid of that 3 as well. Amazing. Just by using outside the puzzle, along here, you can work out what was missing in there. So that's it for today's session. Next uh, tutorial, tutorial number 32, we're going to show you another example of danger, danger.